In this video, we're going to go over five different classical Kung Fu conditioning exercises. Here we go. In Kung Fu, there are several different types of conditioning. One is fight conditioning. And fight conditioning is about you keeping your mental focus up during a confrontation. Another would be endurance conditioning. And that's your ability to keep up your energy level during any kind of physical action. The third would be physical conditioning, and that's conditioning your physical body. And we're going to do that in this video today. One method of physical conditioning, the one that we're going to go over today, is teaching your body how to take shock. What I mean by shock is that you're able to take force when something impacts your body. The first drill is three star blocking. In three star blocking, I'm going to hit in three different areas of my arm, which is why it's called three star blocking. I'm going to strike on the inside of my arm, the back side of my arm, and then the top side of my arm. And it's going to look something like this. I'm going to swing my body around to the side and hit with the inside of my arm. Then I'm going to rise my hand up and I'm either going to hit with the outside of my arm or I can still focus on the inside of my arm if I like to. And then I'm going to cut my arm down and I'm going to strike with the outside of my arm. You want to make sure that when you do these techniques, you keep your arm nice and relaxed. And then right at the moment that you impact with your partner, who's doing the exact same drill, you tighten up your body. And I'm going to do this at the level of power that my partner can take. The next drill is called hammer hits. And in the hammer hits, I'm not actually hitting with a hammer fist. I'm hitting with this inner edge of my forearm. This is actually a really tender part of your forearm. So when I hit, I want to flex my wrist inward and this will tighten up this part of my forearm. I'm going to use that tightening to flick my forearm into my partner's forearm. The next is called slapbacks. In a slapback, I'm actually going to use my palm to slap my partner's palm. Now when I hit, I'm using mostly from the heel of the palm to somewhere mid, maybe slightly above that part of the palm. You'll find when you do this technique with your partner, all parts of your palm and your fingers hit. But you want to focus on that bottom half of your palm, mostly making the impact. When you strike, remember, you're not stiffening up your hand and just winging your hand into theirs. You want to be nice and relaxed rotate your torso, and then just pop your hand into their palm. This next one is called a shoulder bump. In a shoulder bump, I'm going to sink my stance downward and I'm going to rock the side of my shoulder into their shoulder. As I do that, my arm is going to slip underneath their armpit and my other hand is going to catch one of their arms. When you look at this drill, it looks kind of like a wrestling swimming drill, but the focus here is on the impact. And so the reason why I'm conditioning my shoulder is Sometimes when I'm wrestling somebody or if you're going in for a shoot from far away, you're going to use your shoulder to bump their body to set them off balance to grab onto them. Or sometimes you're just up close and you want to hit them with your shoulder just because it's the easiest technique to hit them with. This last drill is for lower leg conditioning. And what we're going to do is what's called a broom kick or a low roundhouse kick into each other's calf. You'll see this in modern day MMA as a calf kick. This just happens to be a, a classic Kung Fu move too. When I'm striking, I'm going to strike the outside of their calf. I could hit their thigh. I could hit their thigh as well, but I'm going to focus this technique on the outside of their calf. That outside of the calf is actually really, really hard to condition because the muscles are a little bit smaller and the thigh is a little easier to condition because the muscles are a little bit larger. For remember, I'm not swinging my leg in as hard as possible to destroy my partner's calf. I'm doing it just enough so they can feel the impact and they can learn how to resist it. I'm also teaching myself as a kicker how to target appropriately. These are just five of many, many, many Kung Fu conditioning drills. We have conditioning drills for strength training, fight training, endurance training, focus. If you're interested in more, just let me know and I'll put some more videos together for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you next time.